Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, welcome to Otaku Chris is Talking. This is your weekly One Piece live reaction for chapter 868 and I'm super pumped because where it left off last time it was hella crazy so yeah as this is a live reaction do bring up the chapter um, as well so that we can go through it together otherwise we're just awkwardly looking at me read from my phone. No, no one wants that. No one wants that. Do we Zoro? Do we Saitama? No, no one wants that. Um, for the opening I just played right there, that was One Piece opening 16, hands up. Um, I really like the One Piece openings and I do want to go through them, some of my openings, well, some of my reviews. So... So that's pretty much that. All right, so let's do this. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe as I make regular um, One Piece content, uh, mostly manga reviews. I used to do the anime reviews, but Toei... I don't like the butchering, and I'd like to apologise for that hell of annoying noise outside, the drilling, so uh, yeah, we're going to be hearing a lot of that, so I do apologise about that, but there's nothing you can do because you got to do a one piece for action. Alright, if you could just bring it up, um, so yeah, so the first page, chapter 868, KX Launcher, so I'm guessing we're going to just continue on with the whole Capone going to attack Big Mum, and let's see how that goes, and let's see if it even works, because that's one thing as well, we want to actually just make sure it even works. On this cover page, short-term focus, title page, serials, part 23, dropping in on the lives of the Grand Straw Hat um, Pirate Fleet, Volume 5, Cavendish Arc. So, as I've been saying, um, those are not enemy ships, and therefore there is no need to fire on them, Su Solomon. That explanation was way too long. All right, so basically, main page, Cavendish once more, continue on with Cavendish and his madness. Sorry, um, if I do kind of stop every now and then or feel like I'm choking, it's because I do feel kind of sick. So I'm just drinking loads of water. Water, because that's how we say water in London. It's not how we say water, I'm just an idiot. All right, so 63 years ago, the disappearance of Mother Caramel and the little children. Okay, even though we're seeing Big Mum right now. Ooh, and Big Mum right now at the top. So I think you're just kind of going back. Big Mum, she's... <laughs> she still froze. She's like, ah, why did you leave me? And um, that was hella dark. We can we all just come into just come together and just say last week's chapter was dark. Um, definitely one of the darkest chapters of One Piece. I can say the only one of the other chapters which I can say was as dark or nearly as dark was definitely when Jack came and uh, tortured uh, Nikomamushi in Union Russia, trying to find out the information of where who was it. Um. Uh, that Rizo, Rizo was? That was hella dark because they went around uh, um, basically attacking, murdering all the minks and everybody on island, on, on Zo, the elephant's back Zo. So that was hella dark, but I didn't really like how basic and boring Toei made it. They really watered it down, so hence why I don't do reviews for them. But yeah. All right, so going back, this is a pretty good uh, like panel right here. You have uh, Sanji, Luffy, and Capone. Thumbnail? Who knows? It's, pre it's pretty badass, but I don't really want to uh, like confirm that as as that. Right. But unbeknownst to even Big Mom herself, there were some that sh there were some that saw the whole incident unfold before their eyes. Two to be exact. Before I continue, I bet you it's one of them is going to be her friend. That girl, what was her name? Girth. <laughs> Lol. So um, I think one of them is going to be Girth, or not, or not, or I could just read, or I could just read it. Uh, <laughs> One was someone that cared a great deal about the lamb's house, huh? What happened? And was dropping by for a visit. A warrior of Elbath. Ooh! He worried by what he saw. Ho he, ho he, horrified by what he saw. Damn, I can't read today. Ran off and he never again set foot on that island. This does kind of make sense because it's like, who would have just built this freaking house here for whom? And what was it? The lamb's house. Who would have just made the lamb's house and just left it there? There were obviously going to be people around the vicinity, and Big Mum looked like she was in one place when she was eating people. So, like, there def they should have been people around the island at least, or there's no reason to why there wouldn't be anyone around the island. So, there's that. Um, but yeah, but this guy, he basically fucking ran off. Eventually, his story reached the ears of El Bath itself and the rest of the giant race, and Charlotte Rinrin grew to be so repugnant by the giants that they refrained from even saying her name. 
Boom! This explains a hell of a lot. The other witness was a chief and former ruined pirate that had been living on the island for some time. Struson. What the fuck is Struson? <laughs> Anyways. To him, the sight was positively hilarious. Oh, no. He's going, he's going straight to hell. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. He's just there kind of cutting a log. Is he kind of log? Has he got a devil fruit? All right. This panel right here. He's about to cut a log, and then the next panel, the log looks. In the next panel, the log looks a hell of a lot like a piece of steak. Hmm, interesting. So I think that's his devil fruit. What do you guys think? Let me know in your com in the comment box down below. His power was an ability to change various things of the world into ingredients. Oh, okay. This is why I should just keep reading and not keep stopping. Uh, choo choo choo, if I just leave her alone, she'll die for sure, and that will be a waste. Can we just stop and realize he can make anything edible? Alright, that's fucking awesome. Uh, Missy, let's talk about our dreams or something. Mr. Who are you? Have you seen Mother? Oi, don't get too close, alright? She'll be back eventually a bit, but until then, I'll stick with ya. You. You'll never have to worry about eating again. These two who had never before met before. Okay, before that moment, would go on to build the the Big Mom Pirates. Alright. Rin Rin, return to your senses. They're going to shoot you. When Mom is weakened and when no one in the hall can move for at least the next five seconds. Alright, I want to use this as thumbnail, but I know somebody out there is going to be like, Oh, it's a spoiler! Uh, okay, it is a fucking spoiler, but I, I, I really honestly don't care. It's not given context, and you don't know what the hell. Okay, it says Big Mum will die, so maybe I'll just blur that out. Um, at that moment, god damn it. At, uh, sorry, man, this manga readers, whatever it is I'm reading it on, is just being kind of slow. At that moment, in New York, Amelia. Sorry, who else is having issues with their manga readers like? Uh, at that moment, the KX launcher will have the greatest effect, and Big Mom will die. Mother, everyone's in the way. Alright, it looks like everyone's going crazy. Dogtooth, and her other people. We have Nami. Wow, fucking ev everyone is affecting everyone in the vicinity, which we, which we knew this already. Let's make this place our country, a dream country where all can live equally. Country? Yes, there'll be no racial discrimination or anything of the sort. A country where everyone can live eye to eye. So I'm guessing this is Mother Caramel's um, thoughts and uh, like her, her wishes. Eye to eye, that's so cool. It'll be awesome if everyone can become big big like me. Oh, uh, so now we're seeing where Big Mom's uh, like whole wanting everyone to be a giant came from. Because she's still got that childish mentality that probably stuck with her from a child to now. If there were a lot of countries like that, this world would be more peaceful than it is. Everyone would be so much happier. Peace? That's your dream, Rimin? Yeah, I'm going to make a country that will make Mother happy. Flower, flower. That's the trick that Mother did. What happened? I can do it too. Oh, what the? A devil fruit power? Okay, then, Raymond, let's make our dream country. All right, so we're gonna... It's been confirmed, pretty much, that um, this is Mother Caramel's ability and also how Whole Cake Island was formed. Charlotte is... is mm, Rin Rin? Lin Lin? Whatever, in this, in this translation, it says Ren Ren, but hey, Charlotte Lin Lin, Charlotte Rin Rin, uh, Big Mum, basically, She's been fucked since she was a kid. And what's crazy is she's been so innocent and so easily manipulated that you can see that this guy, this shady looking motherfucker. <laughs> Let's make our dream country. Does this, is this the face of, is this the face of a guy who's taking care of a fucking six year old? I think not. So he's definitely saw how powerful she was, find it hilarious. And he's like, fuck everyone. I'm going to just basically be with her from now, help her out, she's a fat bitch, she basically just loves food, and I, my ability is to make food from anything, so, definitely the dynamic duo, duo, <laughs> duo. Uh, alright, so, we see Big Mum's bounty first was 50 million for a kid, reports are coming in that she's more dangerous than Cypher Pole, what, capture her before she gets too big to control, what, all right, there's a slight glimpse of another bounty. It says 50 million, and then there's another, oh, maybe, 
it looks like it's 500 because it shows Charlotte Linen as a kid it's 50 million and then it shows her a bit older and there's like 500 maybe 500 million which wouldn't surprise me because she looks around the same age as maybe Luffy um bring me sweet treats if you do I shall make a promise of you yeah yeah I don't think that's how it works a promise of peace and <laughs> and of a dream country if you listen to what I say, you will all live happily. And if you don't listen, you'll, you're being selfish and I'm going to kill you. All right. So, so it says here, I'm going to kill you. This is when Big Mom was younger as well. And you can see she definitely knows what she's talking about. So, yeah, I'm not going to be accepting the whole, maybe she didn't know what she was talking about. Maybe she didn't know she was killing. She fucking knew she was killing people. Stop being fucking blind. Mother, I'll make everyone big one day and then let's all sit around that, that table again. But there are still people that don't listen. I'm so sad. I can't stop crying. That last photo of you, mother, they broke it. I'll never forgive the straw hats. Or, or you'll never forgive a Capone. You know, you never forgive Capone. How about that? I'm just gonna... Oh, she's gone full hockey mode and she's gone hella crazy. Capone looks like he's about to pass the fuck out. That's a pretty good art right there. I like that. It's probably one of my favorite art pieces of um, Big Mum. Oda's doing bits right now. There's a, there's a lot of fucking detail on this. Uh, she's still crying. Not much, not much dialogue, just a lot of drawings, which I like. All right, so in this panel, Big Mum's screaming, everyone's pausing. Okay, Dogtooth looks like he's back to normal again. Bumble snap, and he's about to do something. Luffy, Brooke, Pedro, Jinbei, they look like they're scared of something. Uh, someone's disappeared. Who disappeared? All right, someone disappeared. Capone, he's like shocked. And they were like, plan failed. All right, so the plan has failed. They were running for their lives. Listen up, because I can fly, I'll bring the escape mirror into the into the hall. Alright, Caesar's helping. When you finish your stuff, all of you, quickly jump into Caesar's mirrors. A bit out of order, but here's my debut. Damn it, I can't believe she destroyed my launcher. That monstrous old hag, Yonko, will be Yonko, I guess. I mean, what did you expect? You think a rocket launcher was just going to deal so easily? I mean, obviously, there did have to be conditions for the launcher to work. But regardless, big, I don't think it was going to be that simple. Um, so we gotta skedaddle you lot jump into the mirror everyone into the mirror Luffy, Nami, Chopper, Caesar the pressure from her scream is ridiculous oh my god <laughs> I kind of want to use this as thumbnail look at Caesar's face the scream the pressure of the scream broke the mirror <laughs> oh fuck it all right, so they want to go jump through the mirror. That didn't work. What? Uh, Luffy's shocked. Nami's crying. Chopper's crying. Jinbei's like, what the hell? Caesar's crying. Capone's is shocked. This is bad. We're on the roof up here. There's nowhere for us to run. And there's no way we'll ever win this fight. Okay. So. So. I kind of want to use this as thumbnail. Fuck, I keep on these. Everything is thumbnail. Zoro, what should I use as thumbnail? If I could just zoom in on his face. You should use all of them for thumbnail. Um, this is why I'm single. This is definitely why I'm single. All right, so <laughs> basically, let's screw Dogtooth and the rest of <laughs> the rest of Big Mama's people are fucking there. They're just ready to take them out. Smoothie, Wool is there as well. Okay, so how are they going to get out of this? Rook Ain Grossvater. Okay, so Capone's done some crazy shit. Jinbei, Luffy, and Brooke are like, uh, Caramel's like, uh, Luffy's like, uh, just get inside for now, allied forces. Oh, Big Father? None letter. Alright, so this is a pretty good castle. I think this is Capone's castle. Big F Big father, I think Capone's basically brought the castle to, to life. Normally they normally he brings people to the castle, but this time he's brought the castle out. So maybe this is him just going all crazy. Uh, in the hour of peril, a grand castle rises. All right, so. Do you know what? I'm going to just do this all in like one go. All right. So as that was just a reaction, there wasn't that much dialogue in the actual uh 
and the actual chapter. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of go quickly through a few small things um, and then probably just do a quick review afterwards. So one thing I noticed that this chapter gave us was Big Mum's bounty as a kid, 50 million. We also got a bit of exp um, we also got a bit of backstory and characterization for Big Mum as how to how she came to and how the island of Whole Cake Island came to as well, which I really liked as well. The plan failed. The plan totally failed, uh, which is kind of funny. Definitely had a lot of funny moments. I like that Capone mentioned allied forces come together, uh, just jump into the castle. Big Mom was obviously not going to go down that easily, so I'm very intrigued to see how that's going to go. Anyway, so this is just my overall quick brief thoughts. I'll do a review later on, so please do subscribe and turn on that notification uh, bell button, whatever the fuck it is, to be part of the notification squad. And I'll be posting up a Boku no Hero Academia video uh, in the next hour or so when it get, when it gets dropped. So once again, subscribe if you're into uh, notification so that you know for those videos. Wow, I waffled quite a bit. Yeah, apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions on this chapter. Let me know what you thought of this chapter and whether you thought it was hilarious. Did you think it was going to work? Um, what do you think Big Mom was going to do? And what that castle has to do with anything? And what was your favourite part? My favourite part was definitely... <laughs> My favourite part was definitely the mirror breaking and everyone just realising they're just fucked. I just loved that moment and I definitely... Might want to use that. Oh, I can't even use that thumbnail now because people will know just the plan failed. I mean, people know the plan's going to fail, but hey. All right, I'm just waffling on now. Anyways, ooh, maybe I should just enter with an outro. I'm just going to basically just kind of prolong in New York. I'm merely a rock. All right, so. And we're going to finish with... Yeah.